everyone welcome back to my channel if this is your first time you're welcome and if you've been here before thank you very much for coming back my name is Emily and today I'm here to talk about five reasons she should become a biomedical scientist the first reason is it's a fulfilling job because you get to become a part of a team that helps in the treatment in the diagnosis of diseases you help in various um, laboratory procedures which would help the doctors in diagnosing various diseases. Also you help in the monitoring of these diseases, in uh, evaluating the response of the patient to treatment and also to monitor the prognosis of these diseases like if the patient have undergone a treatment you are going to be useful in monitoring the disease to make sure that it doesn't return. A good example is a frozen section in an histology lab. This is usually used during surgery where, for example, surgeons are taking out a cancer from like a part of the body. They will send a sample of the cancer margin to the lab. In the lab, a biomedical scientist will evaluate these samples and send it to a consultant histopathologist who will check the sample under the microscope and check if it is still got cancerous growths or cancerous cells or not. If it still got some cancer cells at the margin, the surgeons will be notified to take out more of the margins until the cancer is cleared. But if the cancer cells are not in the margin, the surgeons can conclude the whole procedure. So this is a good example of how a biomedical scientist is a part of a medical team because they help the doctors in making this important decisions number two he offers a good work-life balance if you work in specialties that only as a nine-to-five service if you work in blood sciences then you might be required to work like nights or weekends or shifts but if you work in like histology or other laboratories that doesn't require you to work 24 hours it actually offers a good work-to-life balance and usually gets like a tea break in the morning, a lunch in the afternoon, and a tea break in the afternoon. This is dependent on the lab you work, but usually you start your work at 9 or half 8, then you finish around 4 or depending on the lab you, you're working. So he has a good life work balance, and as soon as you get home, that is the chapter close. You can attend to any other needs that you have. It's not a very fluid job. What I mean about that, it's you go in and you know what you're doing for the day. It is not a constantly changing environment because there's always procedures that need to be carried out at a particular time of the day and particular instructions to be followed. So you might need to come in, do your QC, which is to check that your machines are working and you run your tests to make sure that every test that you process on that day are going to give you the right results. Like in histology lab where I work, you would embed your tissue, then you will cut them, then you will stain them, you send them to the doctors for reporting. So it's a constant cycle of activities. You can, you know, the first thing I'm doing is this, the second thing I'm doing is this, and you know everything you need to do to the end of the day. It's not like other jobs that are full of uncertainties. There are situations, maybe like frozen sections, where the doctors need to do emergency surgery, but most of these things are pre-planned. Or maybe in transfusion science, where they need to run blood tests to make sure that the patient that they want to transfuse is compatible. It's usually something that it's planned for so there are special labs that runs that but if you work in a lab that has a pattern to what they do you're you go in you know what you're doing throughout the day another reason to become a biomedical scientist is that you have a good job security especially if you work in the nhs as soon as you're employed by the nhs you have a job for life so you can choose to come into the NHS and just progress and progress from one level to the other, from one band to the other. So there's no situation in which there will be no need for biomedical scientists, such as um, other health professionals like doctors and nurses, there will always be need for biomedical scientists. So you know that as soon as you are done with your degree, you can get a job in the country, whether England, Scotland or Wales. So as soon as you're employed by the NHS, there's no concern about losing your job you are employed for life, which is a good thing, offering you job security. So in relation to jobs, there are lots of jobs for biomedical scientists. You can go on the NHS job website for England and for Scotland. There are several jobs for 
biomedical sciences on those sites. Another reason to become a biomedical science is you have an opportunity to progress. If you work in a lab, they could sponsor you to study for your MSc and your study for your diploma. There's a constant investment in your education and in your development. So you can get to do your MSc, get to do your specialist, your higher specialist, you become a band six, then from there you do your masters, you become a band seven, from there you can do other qualification, you become a band eight, a band eight B. There are opportunities available for you to get trained, for you to do continual professional development and for you to improve your skills in the laboratory. Just as an added uh, point, if you become a biomedical scientist and in few years down the line, you decide that you would like to try other careers, biomedical science actually offers you that platform in which you can progress to other careers like physician associates that only require you to go for MSc in physician associate for two years or you can become an occupational therapist that only requires you to have an MSc or you can become a nurse you can do a two years MSc in nursing or you can decide to go into medicine the knowledge you've gained in your biomedical sciences would be a good platform for you to progress into these careers. I will actually do another video to give you ideas of what other careers you can um, digress into. If you've been a biomedical scientist for a while and you like to change your career, there are other roles that you can um, digress into. I would make another video to explain that in details. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been really helpful in highlighting um, some reasons why you should become a biomedical scientist. Do check my other videos in my biomedical science series and also do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much once again for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.